Well, my background is a little, I guess, unconventional. I didn't study design formally. Um, I studied engineering first. That said, it's been very useful for me now because I have a very good understanding of how materials are produced, how they work, what's actually going on inside, and understanding of not only what you can make in a process, but how the materials form and, and what's actually happening on a, on a sort of microscopic level. From there, I um, then went on did all sorts of different things, um, but eventually got back into design through doing graphic design, freelance graphic design. It wasn't until about 2005 where I started getting back into doing three-dimensional work and um, launched the Studio Viable. The, the thing that brought us together as Viable was, was really the desire to create something that was more than some of its parts. And so we wanted to create a studio and a brand that gave the impression of having been around for longer, having um, a more sort of substantial basis than an individual try designer trying to kind of make it themselves. Coming from Australia to London, I'd always assumed that the industry would be you know, vast and, and you'd kind of get lost in it. But uh, really the opposite is what I've found. Uh, the, it's a very small industry, everyone knows everyone else. Approaching projects with Decode is quite a sort of variable thing, it depends a lot on the project. Uh, I've known both the directors for a long time and so we tend to, it, projects arise more from kind of discussions we might have um, about where they're going, what they're doing, what they might want. And um, from there I work very closely with them, you know, sort of send drawings back and forth and, and develop product together. Early last year I um, set up, decided to set up my own studio. It was sort of a, a result of really doing more and more work at the gallery and requiring a, a sort of structure behind that. But gradually over the last sort of 18 months I've sort of started to uh, refine what I see my studio as and uh, take in two directions. One side being more production work with companies like Decode, the other side being strictly the gallery side of things, so producing pieces solely for Carpenter's Workshop Gallery. My uh, first solo show is uh, opening in about two weeks. It's an exhibition with uh, Carpenter's Workshop Gallery at their big space in Paris. It's um, a whole new collection of work. A couple of pieces have been shown at uh, fairs previously, but uh, essentially it's a new body of work. All very sculptural pieces, pieces that are, are functional, but the kind of key aesthetic element is a very sculptural form. I think what I enjoy most about my job is just actually the designing. But obviously then, you know, there are later stages where you kind of refine that and you bring in practical considerations. But it's that initial kind of point of creation I'm fortunate in the sense that now working for producing work for the gallery, that initial stage is much longer and far less constrained than working on other projects. I really do get to sit down for, for weeks at a time working on sort of following ideas and really trying things out.